If you can't extend your hip, how are you gonna move? How are you gonna hunt for water? You can't make babies, we can't reproduce, the whole deal, it's horrible, all right? <laughs> this is the correct hip extension pattern firing. The glute fires, then the hamstring, and then the contralateral QL so you don't rotate. If you, I've checked this, EMGs, yes. If, look, if you have that pattern, the bar on bench press moves faster. Yes. Got it? So, so people are like, on oh, bench press when you're lying there? Yes. So if I'm going to go push somebody, I'm going to go push what I just do. I use my glutes, I stabilize so I can push them. If I'm going to pull them, what I just do? I use my glutes to stabilize to pull. So every movement. And look, I've checked this pattern on everything from bench press to all my other lifts, thousands of experiments, and the bar moves faster every time. What's the bad pattern? That's the good, that's the correct one. The bad one, a, uh, the correct one, these are the most functional, I'm sorry. Wrong pattern is a hamstring firing. The hamstring fires first, then the contralateral QL, and then the glute. So some of you have this pattern here, when I saw you walk in. I'm not judging you, okay, trust me, I'm not judging you. But you have that pattern. So what happens to those people? The hamstring, they have pulled hamstrings. I found wide stance power lifters have this a lot too. What's it doing? It's causing that hamstring to fire first in hip extension pattern. So, and, and the research will say, because I've had a bunch of scientists come up to me after I've lectured on this, say, hey Cal, I think you're wrong, because the hamstring's actually involved in the hip extension before the glute. I got it. But they analyzed running, and that's fine. Yes, of course the hamstring's on. Because if I landed without my hamstring on, I'd blow my knee out there, big shooters, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about actual hip extension. Once you've stabilized and drive, the first pattern I showed you was optimal. And then they agreed with me, okay? But, and then when you run, let's say you go out and run 400, what's gonna tighten up? Your hamstring, because it's doing hip extension all the time. Right? When you, and then it's driving hip extension. When it's starting hip extension, when you walk, because you overstride a little bit and you use your hamstring to pull you, it becomes tight. And you become, and then what do people do? They stretch it. It tears muscle fibers apart. Sets it up for a hamstring pull, in my opinion. If you get them in the right pattern, guess what happens to the hamstring? It releases and lengthens itself back to normal. Okay? So the other bad pattern, real quick, is a very dangerous one. Your QL. Your QL fires hip extension pattern first, then it fires the hamstring, and then the glute. What happens here? What happens there is they have tight lower back, especially when they go run or do something stupid like that, running, okay? I'm not a big runner. Um, tight back, future disc problems, I'll be honest with you, bracing the core causes this pattern, okay? And I'll show you some things about bracing the core in a little bit. The worst people I've ever seen with this pattern are yoga instructors and Pilates instructors, all right? I'll give you an example. I had an athlete that left me, he was 6'5", he had five fingers between his ribs and hip bones, so you can check yourself. You should actually have four, okay, in my opinion between your top of your hip bone and the bottom rib. You should have four, okay? Now, here's the deal. He leaves me with five, goes to a, a training, a team, professional team, that all they focus on is, is, is core training. Four months later, I saw him skating on the ice, and he had this pattern when he skates. I can identify it. His ribs had came, touched the hip bone, and actually went inside the hip bone. Yep. Guess what happened after I texted him? said, hey, you need some work. I'll send somebody down. He's like, okay. He never got back to me. Two weeks later, he had a blown disc. End of the season. Done. Okay? Now, he had that pattern. Why? In my opinion, the core bracing. Um, can I borrow somebody here real quick? Real quick. Look, I'm just going to do some simple muscle testing. I've checked this on force plates. If you don't know what those are, you stand on them. They're very sensitive. They'll check balance. So stand up here. Face everybody. 
All right, I want you to march in place, just real quick. To me, marching's a great, I'll, I'll cover this, just use your arms too, just march. Marching resets the nervous system, kind of realigns you. All right, relax, I'm gonna muscle test you, ready, hold. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I got a foundation, I want you to brace your core nice and hard, however you wanna do it. Ready, brace it nice and hard, ready, hold. Feel how weak you are? Yep. Why? It's a threatened pattern. Core bracing also causes this hip extension pattern. Now I want you to squeeze your glutes nice and hard. Ready? Feel a difference? Yeah. Squeeze your core. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yeah. Squeeze your core. <laughs> All right, one finger. All right? That's a threatened state. Okay? I'm telling you. So how do I, how do I coach everything? I have them squeeze their glutes. From pull-ups to squats, everything. And we'll get into the foot because I want you to squeeze your toe into the ground now okay. and squeeze your glutes nice and hard. Ready? Hold. Oh, you feel a difference? Yeah. That's even better. Ready? Very good. You can check it. I'm telling you, bracing the core is bad feedback. Every exercise I've ever checked, not just this way, but bar speed, everything. Bracing the core. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it if you have a back problem. I'm saying in healthy humans. All right, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hey. Like with the uh, powerlifters who will wear like a kind of looser belt and then fill the belly up and push against it, um, that is uh, more similar to what we're talking about uh, than you know, like driving your big toe in the ground, you know, pulling in and drawing in your trunk. Yep. Like, like filling the belly from right. there and driving it out. And I think that's good. And I, I here's here's where my take is, John. If you have the hip firing correctly, working then what happens is the core will brace itself the correct way and they will do it that way, but only when they need to do it. So when they're walking their, thing, or their weight out, if everything's turned on correctly, John, the core will instantly fire exactly how much it needs to to stabilize itself. So what they do by presetting them sometimes is they're, they're, they're putting their body in a threatened state before they do it. Does that make sense? And they don't have the correct hip extension pattern to start with. So yeah, it's not wrong, but quite often people find once they get this all right, then their core will, will turn on instantly because the pattern's correct so that it can stabilize when it needs to. Because some people walk out with 800 pounds, they're like, oh, I didn't need to know. I, I didn't know that I didn't need to stabilize yet. I need to stabilize in the bottom and I'll naturally do that when, it, when it's time. Does that make sense? And some people have to do that because they're just not that strong. Yeah, so what you can do is you can play with it and test it yourself. Because some people need it, in my opinion, they'll need it at different stages, but it has to be done to stabilize at some point. I, 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 yep. I've never been a proponent of that idea. Right. I really always felt that driving the belt and pulling the full air and pushing out, because uh, I always felt more about drawing in the trunk and being able to kind of, like you said, put the big toe on the ground, squeeze the glute, and draw in the trunk. But the idea of like doing that, you know, big breath in, like it, it, it. And they may need it, I don't know, but when I've tested it, it doesn't seem to work that well. Yeah.